hi guys and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be finishing Derry Girls season three and I believe the show in general I think this is the final season um which is very bittersweet last episode was a roller coaster like it was very funny enjoyable I enjoyed it a lot and then it took a massive turn at the end like we it went from like like a good steady rate to like happy and funny to like a bit meh and then it went up because Claire got her first kiss off the girl that she likes and then it just went straight down um, with Claire losing her dad which that's fucking awful. Um, but yeah, we're here, we're at the finale um, of season three and I think the whole show in general, which is really sad because I've enjoyed every second of watching this show pretty much. Um, and admittedly, I've, I've binged it in a very short amount of time. Like you'll be seeing these much later than when I actually watch them because um, I'm trying to like get ahead on videos and stuff because um, I like being prepared and stuff so if there's ever a video that's like a bit late or whatever then you know something's like you know wrong <laughs> or like I'm ill or something like that or maybe I'm on holiday or something um, because I'm going to try and be as consistent as possible so if there ever is a moment where there is no video like at least once a week then I'm either busy or I've not been well or there'll be a there'll be a reason um <laughs> but yeah guys I'm ready to s start this last episode I think um I'm really excited I hope you guys have enjoyed this Derry Girls journey with me I'm excited to start a new show as well um you'll know what it is before current me knows because I'll be doing a poll soon um so I would have already announced it like the next show by the time you see this is what I'm trying to say but yeah guys season three episode seven the finale of Derry Girls let's just jump straight into it and as usual guys if you do enjoy these reactions please leave a like subscribe if you're new uh, feel free to go check out the patreon all my unedited reactions will be live on the Patreon before you see these on YouTube. So if you would like to see all of them, I've reacted to shows, well, this show, Heartstopper, uh, probably a few films or at least like a couple films by this point, I'm hoping by the time you see this episode, I'm not sure. But yeah, all my unedited reactions should be live on the Patreon before you see them on YouTube. So feel free to go check that out if you'd like to. But let's do it. Season 3, episode 7, the Derry Girls finale. Let's do it. Getting a little recap, are we, of season 1, season 2. All the seasons, I assume. Could this be the end? One year later. Because if this could end decades of violence, death and fear, then surely any concession, no right. matter how difficult, is worth it. This is the point SDLP leader John Hume and the S campaign will push nice. in these last crucial few Not days. Sure. All right, Becky, you're looking well. <laughs> so we just need a wee photograph. No sweat. Of what? You. Of you. <laughs> and you're happy with this one? Very much so. Ah, oh, the electoral register. There you go. Use it wisely. What are we doing? <gasps> Erin! <laughs> Ten pence next place. Ah! Oh! Twelve pence. Twelve pence. Michelle's pence working at the shop. Inflation, dickhead. Perfect. Yeah, perfect shop for her to walk, work in. Oh, new uniform. Hi, James. Oh, zooming in on Erin. This. Oh! Go off. All oh, is so funny. Guys, I can't. 
microwave things. Oh my god, look at the sister! <laughs> oh, now, with the only days until the referendum takes place, voters across the country must get to grips with this booklet. A yeah. 30 page document laying out the Good Friday Agreement in simple terms. Simple terms. <laughs> simple terms, my arse. I've read through the introduction 30 bloody times. If you vote yes, you're allowed to swing both ways. What's that now? Well, you can be Irish, you can be British, or you can be bi. Okay, I don't think bi is the correct term. <laughs> says here. Yeah. You can hold both passports. Two passports? That'll come in handy. I'm forever no. losing mine. I think I wouldn't mind being bi, you know. <laughs> Everything's different here. And I get why she moved to win. <gasps> Dare just reminded her of daddy too much. But that's a lot to navigate, girls. You know, got a the for language, the culture. Where's she moved to? You moved to Strabam, Claire. It's 20 minutes down the road in a bus. If the traffic's oh. good, don't roll your eyes at me, Erin. <laughs> <laughs> she moved. At least I'll be back for your 18th. It's not my 18th, is it? It's Orla's 18th. My 18th was three months ago, but our tight old mass wouldn't pay for two parties, so instead they've just amalgamated oh. them. Uh, is there a theme? Oh, yeah. Totally. Oh, come on, then. What is it? Literary grades. Monkeys. What? Just find a middle ground, girls. Like, you know, literary monkeys. Literary monkeys. And what would that involve? Exactly. Well, I don't know, Erin. You work out the details. I'm just an ideas woman. Look, I'd be willing to settle for gorillas. <laughs> but they're just big monkeys, Orla. This is a disaster. Oh my we have God. it in the Morning, everyone. Ah, really Who's this? Dream, Jesus, Eamon, but you've some oh. set of eggs on you. Do you think so, sir? Oh, Eamon. Why? Tell us this. Do you exfoliate? Not as far as I'm aware. Well, they're a gift, Eamon. Do you know what? I love you. I love how supportive Sarah is. Very positive girl. Why is he staying with them, man? Oh. Just leave it here then. Right. <laughs> Pop up and pull on me. Uh, clothes. What? In the name <laughs> Don't start, Jerry. When is he leaving? Have a bit of sympathy. The fellas were failing. Yeah, oh, right. right. That's why he's leaving. He's a cousin. We can't just throw him out in the street. Especially not since Mary killed his mother. I did not oh. kill his mother. You got the end of me rope. The man is a liability. Is the the roof falling because of the leak to the top. Jerry, I think you better come up and take a look at this. What? What, what has he done now? Be right with you, Eamon. <laughs> <laughs> I am a Republican. I am a loyalist. I am a fronted. What Although the I am very famous for that sort of speech. Hit. 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 Fear. What in the drama school is this? <laughs> Please do. This isn't the way. GCSE drama. <laughs> oh. Let's put the past behind us. Oh, is Michelle having like a moment here? Is this like where Michelle switches up and just turns over a new leaf, I suppose? The conflict here has led to so many terrible atrocities and now we must add your play to that list <laughs> a referendum is about to take place the right. outcome of which could change the course of history to those of you who have already turned 18 i strongly urge you to exercise your right to vote it's your future take it seriously what's going on with michelle i actually decided what way they're going to vote for this referendum thing since when did you get all political? I'm not all political. Not like Nelson Mandela. Everyone keeps banging on about what have I dated all this. Well, its timing couldn't be any worse. Did right. they have to choose the week of our party? Sorry, is a Good Friday agreement stealing your thunder? A bit, yes. Literary greats and monkeys. We're being avant-garde. Is that like a type of monkey? <laughs> yes, no. Hey guys. So I'm having a bit of a bash for my 18th on Saturday. She's doing one as well. That's the thing. We're actually having a party on Saturday ourselves. You might want to reconsider, Aaron. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't want to sound arrogant, but... What's about you oh. say something really fucking arrogant? Like your yeah. party's never going to compete with my party. And there we go. Aren't you worried that nobody's going to show up? Oh, yeah, Jim. Jenny, no one likes you. And you have something that Jenny Joyce doesn't have. Integrity. 
What? I know her nephew, but... And it turns out he fancies the whole of me. <laughs> Story of my life. And he said he can get her Ooh. to play your party if I snog him for 3 minutes and 22 seconds. That's really precise. You would do that for me. That's just the kind of selfless gal I am. Can I have a crisp? Right. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't know why I don't... This. I don't care. Peter does do me at it. What? <laughs> Do you want? Right. I'd rather listen to Cole. So the bishop wants you to know that he's absolutely Talk thrilled about, about the amazing work you've done here over the years. I'm Is she getting sad? Perhaps he thinks it's time for a different challenge. <gasps> what? Pastor's new and all that. He wants me to leave Our Lady Immaculate. He thinks it's time. Look, this is always difficult, sister, but can I be frank? I'll be whoever you want. It's best in my experience <laughs> to make peace with it, because ultimately, it's out of your control. Well? Mommy wants a bar of dark chocolate. Yeah. This isn't dark chocolate. You tell your ma to eat it with a fucking light side! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, okay, we need some blue oh, streamers. Hey, don't go mad now. I drank a quarter bottle this on Saturday night, ended up having an argument with fucking squirrel. Squirrels are such arseholes. <laughs> Did you get class? To be Cause... fair. Yep. They're I feel like they would snazzy. be. Not snazzy. They are a bit snazzy. Yeah. Not snazzy, right? Snazzy. They're just ordinary, normal, everyday fucking glasses. Of course they are. If you're Elton John. <laughs> you're taking me <laughs> Not very wrong with Elton John. Makes me stretch. What did I worse than sharing a house with you. Look, fuck off, Dennis. And that's never actually going to happen anyway, so. They're saying it, Mike. Well, I'm not going to get my hopes up. What's going on here? As far as I can make out, this thing has two main aims. Firstly, to stop us all killing one another. Fair right. And secondly, to allow us to govern Is this all here, to try and figure out what the fuck this is? Would it not be more likely to be Belfast? Belfast about. is the capital. I bet that was an oversight, Jerry. Are those shorts in? Uh, they are surely, Jerry. Are they my shorts? That's right. I had a hook about in your drawers earlier. Sarah said right. you wouldn't mind. Did she know? He didn't have a pair of his own, Jerry. And legs like that should not be hidden away. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I feel very strongly about this. God, <clears throat> but I am freezing. I wonder why. Well, Jerry, I didn't want to say anything, but you're a bit tight with the old heat now. You heard the man? Oh, my God. Do you want to pay for my heating bill? That's what I'd be saying. Do you want to pay for my gas and electric bill? Right? We are running dangerously low on bamboo. Now. What the fuck is this party? Half funky life, half lettery greets. Are you incorporating lettery greets into the jungle? I have no fucking idea, Claire. Well, that's not good enough. I'm starting to think you guys haven't thought this through. Michelle? Is that your Uncle Colin? That's Samuel Beckett. One born bastard <sighs> looks Uncle much like Col another, I suppose. <laughs> is Colin the... That actually does look like Colin. What was the fist all about? What fist? Earlier? When Dennis was talking about Niall, you did a face. I didn't do a face. What you did a face, Ian. You did a face like this. What was hard to believe in? It was just when you said that you didn't want to get your hopes up. Yeah. You don't actually think you should get out, do you? Who's my brother? He killed someone. I know that, Ian. Oh. I'm not sure we should be talking about this. Isn't this exactly what we should be talking about? I mean, we have to vote on it. It wasn't supposed to happen the way it did. I'm sure that poor man's family takes great comfort in that. These things are not black and white, in, aren't they? Nothing about this place is. Well, I think the fact that you shouldn't kill people is pretty black and white. Oh, awkward, 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 awkward. Oh, God, it's so awkward. Fuck off, Aaron. And what would you know, anyway? You're nothing but a spoilt, selfish, sheltered wee brat. Oh. I didn't even know she had a brother. So, how are things now? What's happening? It's really, really bad. It's got a face mask on. Hello? It's really, really bad. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. What's going on? Look, just leave it alone, okay? I am never, ever, ever speaking to that dickhead again. Oh, ever. no. Well, that's a start. <laughs> Michelle? Haven't even thought about Michelle. It's sort of like, who's Michelle, you know? I right. Like that. I'm growing around with Listen, that was an argument. It's a sensitive subject. Things got heated. It happened. Be needy, apologize. You think I should apologize? Shit, no, what did I do? I'm not apologizing. No, look, it's on the other line. Oh, so she thinks I should apologize. It. Oh my god. I'd give up, honestly. Talking to who? Michelle, do you want a pop tart, Aaron? <laughs> You're telling me you don't want Michelle to come to your party? She doesn't want me to come to your party. Why do I keep doing that? Well, she can stick her party up her hole. Oh. Shit, Claire. Ooh. 
It's so sad though, because I know she likes this place. She has not spoken to me, and now the commitment's pulled out. The lack of commitment, that's what she should call it. This outfit's cute. That's not as catchy. I don't care. Her voice isn't even that good. We don't need the commitment, and we don't need Michelle. This party is going to be amazing, with or without them. Oh, Christ. What the hell? Splitting the book and just made sense, you know. Price -wise. We are not sharing our 18th birthday party with the First Communion Day. I cannot believe this Oh, moment. my God. Everything I do, I do it for you. Is that right, Brian Adams? Oh, I'm my God. Oh, don't even. When I'm dead. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> this is what every mum is like, I swear to God. Sack it off and goes to Jenny's, that's what I say. I know she's, like, a bit annoying. Did you enjoy the body of Christ? It was a bit dry. Aye, that's why I put butter on it. Yeah, you're really, really not supposed to do that, or not. How many pieces of communion do you think you'd need to swallow to eat a whole Jesus? What? You can vote yes, or you can vote no. Well, they are doing Calm! it. Calm! not strictly true now, Jerry. I must say, now, I mean, I hardly recognised you in your shorts. I'm like a new man, Colin. Well, they do wonders <laughs> for him, don't they? Thanks, Joe. It's just nice to have something positive to focus on. How are the repairs coming along, Eamon? Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, Jerry. No word of when you'd be able to move back in? Not as yet, no. But as I said to the builders, I'm in no great rush. A hundred and twenty. I'm sorry. Did you just make a hundred and twenty quid? Aye. Is that the going rate for a First Communion these days? It's pretty standard, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Why, how much did you make? Fifty. Fifty? I wouldn't go in my bed for fifty. This is the worst night of my life. And my cousin Jenny's 18th, the commitments plan. That's your cousin. Pardon? Michelle Mallon and James McGuire. Yeah. Oh, uh, I may have put him down as Fanny Features. <laughs> Um, what is this song? Attention, please. We've just discovered a black mark on the floor of the master ensuite. It's a Sicilian marble, right. folks. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask everyone to remove their shoes. In fact, Cool Runnings is probably one of my favourite films. Do you know what? Right, Dave, cool I've Runnings. Seen that one. Me either. Nor me, I'm afraid. Cool we Runnings is a fucking brilliant seen film. Runnings, Michelle. Trust these yeah, More Cool Runnings is iconic, guys. If you've not seen Cool Runnings, what are you doing? I will say, even though Erin annoys me sometimes, she looks fucking slay. Her outfits have been pretty, pretty fucking great. Name, They're not gonna let her. In. Oh, oh, you're not on the list, so I can't come on. You're not actually serious. Just oh, that's 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 She's gonna rip something. Fall into shit or something. Sorry for the wind. I just had a check with Jenny. Oh Welcome my gosh. Doors. And it's based on a true story. I mean, how have you never seen it, Thomas? Who's this? Your new friend? No, no. God, no. Jenny just sent me up here to collect glasses, and then he started shouting at me about a Jamaican bobsled team. Why could you come here? Oh. Why could you go along with it? We're very close. But I'm in a bit of a difficult position, Erin. Well, I'm just glad Orla isn't here to witness this. All right, Erin. She is here. Orla, you touched your own party. Yeah. That was crap. Yeah. It was crap. Things just have a good time here. Yeah. Generally. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go. And you can tell Michelle to enjoy the champagne. I'm sure she's. Oh yeah, great, actually, I don't want to know. I don't here. want any. I really fish. don't think she is, Erin. Oh, Michelle. You know I've never even visited Nile. No one with me. She won't let any of us. She won't even say his name anymore. He had a son. Oh, she's got a nephew. Yeah. Oh, the man that the brother yes, killed. Yes, son. I'm sorry, Michelle. You oh, weren't wrong. Goodness. Guys, this is really fucking sad. I mean, you weren't right either. <laughs> There's no yeah. answer to any of this, is there? Yeah. No. It's a difficult situation. I don't think there is, you know. Bless him. Is this malarkey? I'm not getting into sausage rolls. There was a fella that lived on my street and, well, <laughs> he was a hit <laughs> <hysteria. He laughs> 
sake. I only came over for a bloody night. <laughs> She's been here for like 10 years. I've been thinking about this business with Eamon's roof. Desperate altogether. Ah, sure, there's nothing worse. I'm going to play a game. You can only speak if you're holding this. Oh, right not the, the speaking stick. Must get a bit <laughs> lonely for you. Rattling around that big house. Oh, room. I live in yeah. a two bedroom terrace. Yeah, Jerry, so we should oh, move sorry. in with you. I live in a two bedroom. Two bedrooms is still one bedroom yeah, too many. Yeah, Eamon should live with what you. What if Eamon came and stayed with you for a bit? You don't have the breadstick, Jerry. Fuck the breadstick. What is it? Well, <laughs> I. <laughs> I love Eamon a breadstick. A bit. What? Born. Really? Yeah. Him? <laughs> You're both born. I see. Glad Jenny's oh party was so cracker. What? I know what it did. It was made me realize. I'd still rather just be standing here on the walls with you guys. Oh, that's sweet. Oh. Yes! All right, then, cool. Cool. Is that a shocker, girls? Clear what happened? I lost my timetable. The bus broke down. Fan belt. The snapped. fucking the rainbow. Umbrella to the driver. Then I finally get to the power show and I get cornered by your uncle Colm. Right. <laughs> Probably a bit upsetting for Erin, realizing the entire year chose my party instead of hers. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be a pity if there was a blackout? Blackout? So I She's... said to Jenny, either the party's over or we relocate it. <gasps> Jesus. Oh my god, this is oh lit. My god. It looks like your party's gonna be the biggest night of the year after all, girls. Uh, <laughs> yes. Lesbian legend, let's go. I actually know this song. Did you get your head around this referendum thing yet? I did. Aye. And what do you think? Aye. Oh, it doesn't matter what I think. Shreem and I, Mom. Oh. That's what really? you think that's important. People died. Innocent people died, Grenda. And they were someone's mother. Father, daughter, son. Nothing can ever make that okay. And the people who took those lives, they're just gonna walk free. You know, what if we do it and it was all for nothing? What if we vote yes mm -hmm. and it doesn't even work? And what if it does? What if no one else what has to die? What if all this becomes a... a ghost story? You'll tell your wins one day. Wow. Come on, you two. <laughs> yes. Go on, call. Oh, these two. Oh, can this guy oh, go? You're taking the piss. Now. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Sister, you missed the first communion. I decided to take your advice. No point fighting it. Then I had a whiskey. Yeah. I had a word with myself. Told him, I make a difference here. Mm -hmm. The girls know that. Absolutely. The parents know that. I, I, I'm not ready to leave. Try and force me to and there'll be an awful fuss, I said. I'll make sure of it, I said. And what does he say? Not much. <laughs> he didn't say much. Finally arrived. Polling stations across the country will open shortly, and the Good Friday Agreement will be put to the people. We're all 18 now. We're all Cute. officially adults. So tell me, Aaron, how does that make you feel? No, it's good. It's exciting. I'm going to get some yeah. wise words. And maybe it'll be a bit scary too, you know. Oh, it is. There's a part of me that wishes everything could just stay the same. I think that's that we could all just stay like this forever. Think. Yeah. There's a part of me that doesn't really want to grow up. You preach into the choir. I'm not sure I'm ready for the word. <sighs> but things can't stay the same. And they shouldn't. Why could I cry? No matter how scary it is, we have to move on. And we have to grow up. 
-hmm. Because things, well, they might just change for the better. They all vote in, yeah. So we have to be brave. What happened on Sunday was both unjustified and unjustifiable. On behalf of the government, I am deeply sorry. My name is Neil Young, brother of John, who was murdered on Bloody oh Sunday and has now been vindicated as innocent. You should write that down. Well, maybe on it. Sunday. Can these two, like, just do something? <laughs> Guys, this is really, like, sweet. <laughs> I don't know if they'd accept that. Yes, 71.12%. Yes. Record breaking turnout, an overwhelming majority. Love that. The country has just taken its first step into the future. Present day. Oh, New York, right. Uh, sorry to disturb you. We've discovered some old mail. It was intercepted en route to the White House back in the 90s, then somehow lost its way. But this was addressed to you. Thank you so much. Chelsea Clinton. Oh my god! Chelsea. Our names are Aaron, Orla, Claire, Michelle, and James. And Mental. We come from a place called Derry. We understand you will soon be traveling here with your ma and da. And if they're anything <laughs> like our parents, well, you'll be bored out of your tree. We thought you might like to hang out with us. Right. We were also thinking it must be pretty difficult for a girl like yourself to meet boys. Being the president's <laughs> daughter would intimidate a lot of fellas, we imagined. So no. if you want to practice any moves on James, Feel free. No. He's all yours. Anyway, let us know and have a safe flight. Aaron, Orla, Claire, Michelle, and James. P.S. We think your hair is absolutely cracker. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh. Guys. There we have it. That's see that's season three. That's Derry Girls done, guys. We've we've done. We finished it. What a show! Um, that was a lot of fun, guys. I don't really know what to say. I thought, um, I thought it was just a really good show. I loved that they showed a lot about. Even though I don't know much about the history, I feel like I should know more. Considering I'm from the UK, I should probably know more about. Um, you know the british history and the irish history and just yeah uk history in general as well like i feel like i don't know a lot um i feel like i i should know more than what i do um for sure but i think this show did a really good job uh you know it had its obviously very comedic moments for the most part but it also it was like, it showed like there was still a way of them having light in a dark time, I think. And I think it kind of shows that um, no matter what's going on in life, you know, there's always a way you can have a joke and a laugh about it. Like you can, you'll always find a way to find the fun. Um, even in darker times, um, which I think is really special. I feel like not a lot of shows do do that. So I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if that's the end, end, end. I feel like it is. Um, I swear someone said that they might be making a film, but I don't know if that's true. Um, but if they are, then I'll watch it. Um, I really had a, a good time watching it. To be honest, I don't even know if I have a favourite. I genuinely liked all the characters um, for the most part. Of course, like, Colm and Joe and stuff like that, they 
they had their moments where I used, where I'd get a bit annoyed with them. But for the most part, I I liked every single character, um, really. I think they all had their funny moments. They were ah, oh, it was a great show, and I'm glad that I've watched it. I'm I'm really enjoying doing these reactions, like especially now. Obviously, Heartstopper I'd seen, like I was already like a fan of Heartstopper in season one. Um, so of course I knew I was gonna love season two because I'm a huge fan of Heartstopper. Same with Red, White and Royal Blue, huge fan of that universe. So I knew I was gonna like the movie no matter what. Um, but I also feel like now that those are over and it gives me a chance to like branch into these new shows that to be honest with you guys, I probably wouldn't have watched for, I don't know, ever or if not, um, for a very long time at least because I'm the type of person that gets very attached to a show and I'll just re-watch it and re-watch it constantly and that's how I am with Heartstopper, that's how I am with you know Friends, The Big Bang Theory, um, you know just like Young Royals a little bit like I've not watched that near as, not, near as, as many times as I've seen Heartstopper though but like I have my comfort shows Friends especially and Heartstopper being the main one um, and I'll re-watch those constantly um, and you know because once I get very like hyper fixated on something and very attached to something it's hard for me to like you know enjoy something else and maybe even want to watch something else so I feel like doing these reactions is definitely going to help me explore different types of shows that I don't think I would have seen ever or for a while at least like with this one um I'd like to think I would have got around to watching it eventually but yeah I've I've really loved doing these guys I don't want to carry this uh reaction on for too long but yeah I I love this show I thought it was great I, I like that we got a lot of um a lot more I feel like we did get more depth to the characters um, in this final season and it was nice to see. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like um, even though we didn't get sort of a very, very nice moment between Joe and Jerry, I feel like they do um, care for each other. They are like family, even if it's through marriage, like, you know, they've known each other for a very long time. So I feel like Joe just likes to give him shit because he's very protective of his daughter and daughters in general, like protective of Sarah and of uh, Mary. So I feel like it's just the way he is. Um, I feel like a lot of dads are very similar in ways to that where, and mums to be honest, like if you're a parent in general, I feel like some parents do often have that idea in their head where they don't think anyone is ever good enough for their child um and that's just the way it is I think um but I do think that they care about each other even if they don't show it you know um but yeah I'm proud of them they've come a long way and honestly I can't believe it's over but yeah I really enjoyed the show guys I I really did <laughs> um you know I will say, Sister Michael, what an icon, iconic, but yeah, I, I did like all the characters in general, um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this show with me, it's been a ride, I hope you did enjoy, and I hope you stick with me to join me on whatever show and films we watch next, um, I've got ideas, and you'll probably already know what they are by this point, if you, you know, uh, like what's the word if you're um up to date with like my community page and things like that i'll probably put it on there somewhere what show i'm gonna watch next but yeah guys thank you so much for watching dairy girls with me it's been a journey um i hope we get a film if that's the case i hope that's true and i hope we do get a film because it'd be nice to see them on screen again but yeah guys i love you all thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this reaction, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, 
Um, let me know what other shows you'd like to see in the future and I might react to them. Um, don't forget all my uncut, unedited reactions will be live over on Patreon if you want to go check out the whole Derry Girls journey of mine then you can find them over there. <laughs> Um, all my reactions should be up. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you guys in the next video, whatever that might be. Bye, guys.